And emotional remembrances tonight for five New Jersey family members killed in a wrong way crash. Hello everyone, I'm Joe Torres. And I'm Sandra Bookman. My father and his four daughters died when a pickup truck hit their family minivan head on. The mother survived and is in a hospital tonight in serious condition. The crash happened yesterday afternoon on Route 1 in Townsend, Delaware, while the family was on vacation. Tonight, the heartbroken community in Teaneck gathered together for a church service and vigil. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim spoke to the people at that vigil. He joins us from Teaneck this evening. Stefan? Well, Sandra and Joe, the girl's mother, their sole survivor, remains hospitalized in Delaware on major medication for her pain. But there is no medicine for her suffering from knowing she will never see her family again. This is what it looks like to see an entire community's heartbreak at once. A pain so deep you can hardly breathe. A tragedy so unspeakable it feels like drowning in a sea of sorrow. <laughs> at Voti Park in Teaneck, they came together to try to make sense of it, but sometimes there are no answers. A horrific crash in Delaware Friday afternoon killed five members of one family, four sisters, 20-year-old Caitlin Trinidad, 17-year-old Dana, and 14-year-old twins Melissa and Allison, and their father, Audi, a postal worker. The girl's mother, Mary Rose, the only survivor. I don't know what's going to happen with, uh, with my sister. I don't know. She's going to live by herself. I don't know. She can take it. All the memories and everything. The Teaneck family was coming home from vacation when police say a pickup truck crossed over a median, drove the wrong way, struck a car, causing it to spin out of control, then collided head on into the family's white minivan. Why, Lord? Why does it have to happen to my brother? He's a God fearing man. He loves his family, goes to church every Sunday. It's okay to grieve. It's okay to look and ask questions where there are no answers. Tonight, the girls' classmates, along with the Filipino American Society of Teaneck, organizing this vigil because they are hurting too. With no kids and no husband. <laughs> <laughs> now, meanwhile, the driver of that pickup, a 44-year-old man from Maryland, was treated and released from the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. No word yet on if he will be charged. The mother, a nurse at Beth Israel Hospital, who took care of so many. The question tonight is, who will take care of her now? Putting live in Teaneck, Safan Kim, Channel 7.